You are now listening to the LVP Podcast, recorded January 22nd, 2014, presented by the LVP Production Staff, featuring the voices of IBNX428, Lord Scar 70, and Will A.K. Batman. I am Echo 490. Please enjoy this recording. And welcome to the LVP 2013 podcast. We have on the set with us 2014. Oh God. Okay. Lotus 70, IBNX 428, and Will, yeah. aka Batman. Introduce Hello. yourselves. LVP podcast number one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We Fine. have that guy. Hey, right, calm down, Ambien. Okay. So, uh, we recently just uploaded our newest machinima, The Experiment, Episode 1, The Recruits, and we have with us LVP producer, Let's Go 70 with us to talk about it. Let's go. So, how was your experience with it? Well, I discovered that I had a lot of sloppy editing for that, but I told you guys about this the other day. There are a few, like, frozen glances, but main, the main problem is not that I, it's not that I was too lazy to fix it, I didn't see it, because... The lag in Vegas is so bad, and when the and when I'm editing, my computer's not fast enough, so it can barely run Vegas as it is. So when I'm playing through the editing software, you know, it shows that it always freezes the first part of each glance that it goes by. So I just think it's you know the software. So it's really hard to pick out glances that I've missed, miscut, miscut somewhere. You know, I think you did like this. you did really good on like the glances. Like that's the thing. Like because this is like a reboot of like the other uh, experiment that we did it's like compare that to this this is much faster it's a lot more i guess you can say sleeker and all that stuff like um before we started i've been you know how you were telling me how um it went too fast or something like that like it yeah, uh, the, like the, the dialogue like it was like going by so fast yeah i don't understand what you mean by that it's going too uh, fast for you it was rushed. Yeah, it was yeah, rushed. Thank, thank you, Will. Thank you. Okay, well, well I mean, it fitted the timelines because the last time we didn't want it to be too slow. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the point. I was trying to get to the point where, uh, you know, the other one, all of my older machinimas, the conversations moved a little too slow, if you ask me. So I was trying to keep it a smooth and you know a faster paced. But I guess I guess I did. I could have. Yeah, I could see how, how I rushed some of it a little bit. But I was being, I was trying really hard, and I, I I even put in all the voice the voice parts in before I even put any of the glances and even recorded some of them, and uh, that way I could just work around the glances and I didn't have to adjust the audio because of the video messing up or whatever. All right, yep. uh-huh. and that makes sense because like uh, the thing is is that um, especially with this machine, you have like multiple characters talking at once, and I mean not at once, but. Uh, yeah, multiple dialogues and conversations passing back and forth. You're gonna have a bunch of these glances happening, uh, glances, sorry, happening at the same time. So, therefore, you know, you're gonna have some kind of technical issues. It always happens. Yeah, and one of the main problems we had recently, you guys know, is uh, the rendering issues. I don't know if I, I've explained it to Ivan and Will, but I know Echo knows because he's, you know, he helps out a lot with all this stuff. But when I render out in Vegas, for some reason, I don't know if it's my computer. But it happens in all versions of Vegas that I've had. I've had three different versions of Vegas that I've tried it on. It does it in all of them. When I have big projects, the video always renders out perfectly fine. I'll never have a problem with the video. Although, uh, when I have big projects, and there's a lot of audio with all my projects, I do I do a lot of sound effects and stuff like that, it, it jumbles the audio when I render it out. So like the first 10 seconds will be fine, and then all of a sudden this clip, this audio clip that was like near the end of the machinima will be put in the front and it makes no sense how it got there for some reason it renders out jumbled and so i have to get this pc audio recording software to uh play i have to play the play the project before i render i have to play through it with the pc audio recorder and record that and then uh i'll have the audio file I'll have all the audio recorded separately and then i'll render it out and like i said the video render is fine uh-huh. so i have the video there yeah. and then I put it back into Vegas uh-huh. with the video and the audio I recorded, uh-huh. and for and for some reason, just because it's two yeah. solid clips, it renders out yeah. fine that way. That's how uh-huh. I have to do that. I I I understand both of that. 
<laughs> what do you guys like... think was wrong with the experiment? Uh, I'm curious to see. Well, just, you just, that one, just that one thing right there. Just like the... Well, it was in general, it was a rush. Like, uh, the gaps between lines were a little bit too short, of course, and, uh, like, uh, like you, even you said the editing was real short. Like, as soon as someone finishes their lines, you're already in the next scene and they're saying their line again. Yeah, I, I did that. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so quick. I should have put a little more space of, you know, just whatever it may have been, just a little more space in between the transitions. I noticed that, because... Nope. You like switch before you were ready. <laughs> yeah, overall, yeah. Overall, the machine was real good. It's just like everything did feel a bit rushed, and like I think one it was kind of rushed. Actually, one, one of the we lines, did kind of it, it was rushed. Yeah, like one of the um, lines, like uh, like when uh, Echo noticed Will having the sniper rifle. Like I, I don't know if I just missed it, but I think he just said his name, like Will's name, before he was introduced. Yeah, I. I yeah, I I looked at that machine yeah, those are holes. and I think I don't remember. Um, for those of you for listening, it's up in the channel right now. But I'm not sure whether you introduce Will, but I get the feeling where because I said Will's name, like I was like Will, like he was like a long lost buddy. I think I should have toned that down because it sounded like I knew him. Before. It sounded like you've already known him. Yeah, I probably confused yeah, him. But he, <laughs> but like... for for the record, uh, the captain did inter- introduce Will. He said. Will, here's our new recruits, Jack and Dax. Yeah. And then Plus, you're actually, like, Will, like he's known him forever. Yeah, and it's implied that Dax has already met Will and knows and knows his name because, I mean, they went together in the bathroom, no homo. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> that's not what I, <laughs> I intended people to imply there, but whatever. Yeah, but uh, I, I really liked it. Uh, because it's already up on the channel, I think it's safe to talk about it, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, this is fun. fun. Yeah, I, I uh. Wait, I we already say... have been talking about it. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I'm talking now about, that like, we've specifically... already spoiled everything. Yeah, I like, think it's okay to spoil the, it. The yeah, that's that's what he was talking about. This will oh, not be goodness. the only episode lo- uploaded. Okay. Oh, you you know how we were talking about uh, yesterday about the distance, like the audio, like I didn't count for distance and any. Rick dies in episode two. Uh, That'll be fixed from now on. That's one of the <laughs> yeah. biggest things. Because that's what makes, you know, certain machine of sound so well. And I finally had a, you know, epiphany the other day that, hey, I need to account for the distance in the audio. Like, you could see in some of the glances where, in fact, the, uh, some of the audio clips of, like, for example, Jack was behind and farther away from the camera, but his audio clip was louder than Dax's, who was, like, right in front of the camera. Which makes no sense. It makes it sound kind of crappy, in my opinion. But I'm being super yeah. critical on my own work, of course, because I, like I know every like, little thing. Like, one visual flaw in the experiment. I think when we were um, talking about the tank, da, 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 when he's like, no, it's a tank. I, I did not see the tank at all. I couldn't see uh, it. Uh, yeah. There was a oh, thing yeah. in the way, and we were too far up in the body acting, so I couldn't get yeah. a glance with a good glance with everybody and see the tank at the same time. Yeah, I could so do I was just letting, I was just letting yeah, Dax say that, that, there that was, was a tank. Because, it. like, yeah. More body acting. That's bad body me acting. And White Star, me and White Star, like, <laughs> forgot to move up while you were. We, we were kind of rushing the body acting. Yeah, I was so, completely uh, bored. It was so yeah, we can too mink. Yeah, I know, but it's gonna be even worse next time because we're gonna have to be harder on ourselves. And the thing is, we have terrible body act. We had terrible body acting for it, in my opinion, because the head movement was so inconsistent and it didn't go with yeah. it well. It well, didn't you, make you any sense. Like, and, for me, it was really I, and hard. And I'm glad because, I made you guys you know, move your head a little bit, but that's yeah. still not the way to do it. it we need people to like, know the lines and say them exactly as they're going to be said. So we need yeah, to do the lines yeah. first. Yeah, like you gave we us when like, you just like drop the lines. I was like, I didn't. I wasn't even body like voice acting for Echo's character. I was the body acting for him, man. That, yeah, like, no, like I said, this script. was quickly done. Oh my god, I guessed it. it. Yeah, I well, was, we did the whole machinima for episode one in the concept of we're just gonna get this done real quick we'll yeah that was the do idea. whatever <laughs> anyway and not wait and just get it done so we can get to episode two because yeah. basically it's just a higher audio quality yeah. version of episode one I basically. Got, I, I, I like, like i said in my director's two. comments in the uh, description i feel like i've learned from this machine for some reason more than i have most of my other machine was this is like one of my top three machine i've learned the most from yeah, what's why. your top three? Oh, I I have noticed I one thing, uh, Hunter, uh, in some of your latest machinima, you're starting to develop a little bit of a habit where uh, when there's dialogue between characters, uh, you show like a zoom in of their helmet, 
and then just go back and forth, and the whole time he's just looking straight in their face. A little bit too much, I think, recently, uh, with the last, like, three Machinimas. I give an example. Yeah. Uh, in the, ex- or in the, uh, I forget what it's called. What was the last serious one we did before Experiment? Uh, as far as an ADST. Yeah. Uh, in that one, um, when he's talking with, uh, the captain, or when, uh, when the multiple the, the spawns are talking the with the captain. Shartment, or the captain of uh, the I for- orbital. Uh, they're up against the window, looking at the destruction of Reach, and he's, and he's like, hey, or, uh, I think it's the flashback one, I I don't yeah, know his name. No, 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 it's, it's your, it's your captain, the, the, the captain's one. It, it on was three Spartans That's and one captain. One. It's not the flashback <laughs> yeah, it was, captain, it's the regular <laughs> captain. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, okay, okay. Three Spartans, one Right, captain. right, the regular captain. Now, um, bills. well, in that shot, every person that talked, uh, there was no shot of all of them. It was all just in their face. So every time, like, when the captain talked to you, it was, boosh, in his face, and he was talking. And then when someone else talked, boosh, you Oh, I know and what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you that's normally... What I, you... That's what I was trying to say was, it's bad body acting. It's, the body acting is not well prepared for the voice acting itself. That's why I was saying to do the voices first, because the reason I do that is because if I if I did full on glances of everybody all the time, you know, I was, I'd, I'd be able to record a lot easier if it was specifically and very, very detailed in how we body acted and did it just for the specific voices that oh. we have. So, because so I have just to, doing I have it to just work to... around all like you're not supposed to look. Then it'd be kind of weird if the captain turned around when he was saying a line. This so it's a dramatic example, but that's why. I oh, you're doing that to, uh... because yeah, I have to find specific parts. Where they're looking in the right places at the right time and stuff like that. That's why right. I do it like that. Oh, okay. you'll, you'll see a lot of inconsistencies in the experiment where, where like for example, yeah. in one glance the captain was looking down, and the next glance it shows everybody and he's looking straight up. All of a sudden, I had it. That was or the one. Or, thing. Was all or, or the one in experiment where everybody looks at the shiny thing except for Rex. Yeah, that was also oh, terrible. Yeah. Well, and the other shot where Rex to, is just. I couldn't get Sagar Dan to pay attention, but. Like I said, bad body acting is not all I need to actor. get right thing. Yeah, definitely in episode two, we should definitely wait to try to have the voice actors do their own parts yeah, body acting-wise. Yeah, that's important. And also, we need to get them to record the voices before yeah. we do the body acting so we can mimic those better, you know, so hmm. they know exactly. Because if yeah. we can't mimic it the same way that when they actually record it, it's not going to be the same, and the body acting won't go along with it. That's true. We I'm not to trying to copy that. Rooster Teeth or anything, but Red vs. Blue, you notice how their head movement is flawless. They, their head moves along yeah. with their dialogue, every glance. They don't, and, and they even have several glances where they don't glance, and it's just like a picture of three people, and they all talk at the perfect time of the dialogue and everything, and it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. We need to be they able to do that. They sound boobs. They're fans. Yeah, yeah they're, they're Rooster boobs Teeth, obviously, so. but we can do that. I'm not... I we have the ability I, to, and we should, the, no matter how difficult it is. Close we did kind of do it back <laughs> in the old days, guys. If you uh, look at the uh, old upload, the uh, old upload of the experiment, the old upload, the old experiment, you just see a whole bunch of comments saying "rip off a of red versus blue." Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> oh, just yeah. we uh, it, technically it is. That's what the inspiration was from, and it was a strong inspiration, may I say? At first, I think. But, it, uh, well. It's not. It's not that it's the strong inspiration. It's just like I think the people were mad because it lacks any sort of originality. Is that is that the way well, they're saying? Well, we got to start somewhere, and the, my whole point was that we start. We start. You know, yeah, we're we're kind of copying Red vs. Blue. Yeah, I know that, and I'm accepting that, and that's fine with me. That's the type of machine, but it doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. You can still enjoy it. You can't just hate yeah. something because it copies something. I mean, people like Call of Duty, and it's copying itself. <laughs> so I don't know what the big deal is there, but. I mean, and, it's, and we try, and, and we're gonna build yeah. on that, and we're gonna, it's in, it's gonna end up being just based on Red vs. Blue, you know, inspired by Red vs. Blue, and it's gonna be completely different. Nah, yeah, it's a similar format. I mean, Red vs. Blue doesn't do it that way anymore, so. I mean, if you think well, they about do it, that. They do that it one is one. Halo, they and there yeah, is Red vs. Sure. Blue a lot. It is Halo, there is Red vs. Blue, and teens, and someone what? else was gonna come up with that idea eventually. Oh my goodness. The thing is that I like about Red vs. Blue is that they have different writers, like the first, uh, the first season to the fifth season, all the way, which is the uh, Blood Co- uh, Blood Gulch Chronicles. Uh, Bernie Burns actually wrote that entire, you know, all throughout the seasons, right? And then he passed it on yeah. to like, different writers, I believe. 
I didn't know uh, that. The, yeah, I Miles wrote Luna it was the one who wrote for uh, season eleven, which I really liked because it went back to like original roots and all that stuff. But um, yeah, yeah, it's, not doing this thing where you didn't get to see the usual crew. Like, let's just straight up replace the red versus blue guys with this new CG thing we're trying. It's like, no. CG's not that. No. I, don't, I, I mean, the CG stuff was entertaining. Uh, I don't. I just don't like it. I like the you know uh, classic. I think cinema. It adds storytelling. You know, it's like um, yeah, it did. It did give them a little flexibility with the story. Yeah, it's a different agree. way to storytell. Like you see it in games, like in uh, Halo. You know how like they have the uh, the terminals that you'll see throughout. It's like yeah. uh, you're reading. You're just reading a block of text. It's not part of the game. You know, you play the game through your fight aliens and stuff like that. That's how you figure out the story. But no, they decided to do something that's different, that's opposite from that. Yeah, I and, bet you know, one of their this, uh, one of their uh, yeah, I bet one of their reasons behind doing it was because it gives you more flexibility and it gives them uh, yeah a chance to tell parts of the story that they aren't able to do with just regular machinima style, and right. that will uh, then allows them to expand upon the machi- the regular machinima style in the future, like they are now for yeah. season what is it eleven? I don't know. Season yeah. twelve is coming up to be expected at summer. I haven't even finished season eleven. I've watched all of them, but I, 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 I don't only know. But like my my, fa- my like two favorite like mocap animations that Red vs. Blue did was one when Tex was fighting all of them, like all the Reds and Blues. I didn't like that. Oh, uh, that was my first. That was the first was, one I saw. I think that was you know, season like nine eleven episode eleven. Yeah, yeah, nine eleven. Nine, conspiracy. 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 Griff conspiracy. keeps getting hit in the balls. <laughs> like Monty's work was then, really like, next, cool, next but next I didn't one. like how they placed it in. Yeah. But then I like like then half text beat everybody up came, uh, to animate Caboose. But for like the first time when he just like started going up, like beating up all the other Texas. Oh yeah. Oh basically yeah. Like, we just like, charges in and doing all that stuff. No, as a writer, see. It's like, I wish we had the capability to do that, so I can just freaking story tell like no other, like, I would, like, that. that's the reason, like, you know how in uh, Scatter Ruins, right, uh, it's basically introducing, you know, first person machinima and stuff, not that it's like the, it's like the first ever done, there's been other machinimas that I've been doing first person, oh, but the it's whole, a series. Oh, the whole thing and, is a POV machinima? Yeah, the, ent- the entire thing is going to be a POV, there'll be narration to it and stuff. Uh, I didn't know that, I didn't know that. Yeah, all of it is going to be a POV, uh, is what I, like, the only times it won't be if it's showing glances and none of the characters are talking at all, but... And when you say POV, gonna... you mean first person, right? Yeah. Yeah, point like, of view. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, the thing is, is that, you know, it's, it sucks, because when you get in a vehicle, like in a Mongoose or a Warthog, anything, it goes to third person, and so, as a writer... If you're trying to do something where it's like all POV, yeah, then you gotta write in something for it to work out and all that stuff. Which I'm perfectly fine with if, that, you know. If if the, if only they had like the passenger seat can be able to see POV. Wait, can you? No, you can't. That would have uh, been awesome. No. But yeah, I love that feature in Halo One. I wish you could do everything in first person, but you can't. So. Yeah. You know, I wish Halo yeah. Three would you know go back to actually you know. Telling the truth and actually, you know, supporting the machinima community because you know, <laughs> it's like falling apart here. You know, we want we want people to watch our stuff, obviously. We need somebody true. to watch it. Yeah, we don't I care mean, about our fans because the art in itself do. is. I mean, somebody has to watch. Your fans it. suck. As no one likes you. Here. Stop watching our videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the some some people may ask like, be like, well, you need to do this because that's what people are gonna want to see. You know, well, that's not really. I mean, yeah, we do it to entertain people and, you know, have viewers and stuff, but our goal is not to have a million subscribers or something. I don't care if we have 30 consistent people. I, I, I'm doing this to, we're doing this to create art, you know? It's an art, and, and you know, obviously the experiment's not much of an art right now, but it soon will be. And with uh, Scattered Ruins, Echo's, you know, Echo's written machinima, it's like, I haven't seen many first-person First person well, machinimas well, out there. Ever yeah. watched, uh, um, Original Palmer. art is what we're trying to do. This is yeah, that's worked out pretty well. That's what we're trying to do. We don't, we did, we're, not, we're not out there to get viewers and subscribers and stuff, basically. Uh, like, do you remember, uh, there's like uh, one the old machinimas that Arbiter 617 made. I think there's like yeah. two of them where there's just old P, like the whole, the whole thing is like point of view machinima and they made it like real good too. 
I've, yeah, no, I've never seen. I've never even heard of that. I think I've seen the They man. made it. It was really good. I, I, I don't I'm know sorry, the one. The oh, only God. first person machinima I've seen is that one short. Uh, it was he was in a Falcon at the very beginning, and he lands, and he goes, and it skips. It's like it's a helmet recording. Yeah, I think I saw that one too. Now, can't, you're, Echo, you're the one that showed it to me. It was really cool. Did I? I don't. Yeah, remember. you're the one who showed it to me. Yeah, it's like it kind of a green tint to it, so it's like a helmet cam. And oh. it doesn't really have much of a story to it. It's just a bunch of cool action stuff. But I think I did. I thought yeah, it was yeah. a really cool machinima. What was called? The, the oh, machinima's called Hunter. How do you not heard of this before? Oh yeah, it was Hunter. Oh yeah, what? there was one. Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, it was called Hunter, and I think it was just like a little short action. It was a, yeah, it was a short, had. right? Yeah, yeah it, it was, was like short. N- it was like nine minutes. And uh, I had a huge complaint because every time they fight are assault rifles. It's like okay, you have bottomless clip. It's noticeable. Yeah, bottomless clip. You're, oh you're yeah, that you. bugged me too. I noticed and that. The <laughs> thing is, everyone knows it has a little like indicator to see how much bullet you have. It just stayed on sixty, and it's just like oh, it drives me. Was nuts. he ever able to reload? Uh, like I, uh, one of the things that I want to when we do stuff like that, when we're doing serious art, and it's not like an experiment yeah. where it can be flexible and stuff doesn't have to make sense. It's just comedy. But when serious stuff comes, like like Scattered Ruins, I would like to be completely realistic and as perfect yeah. as possible. It makes everything make sense. There's no plot holes as much as we can possibly yeah. do to the best of our ability. Yeah, I'm working my, uh, my butt off of that. It was either like that, like Bombless Clip, or being able to like keep the number at the same spot. Like, actually, like the, uh, the amount of ammo you have. Maybe in the same what? spot. Because, like, uh, like you were standing on top of like a, like a constantly spawning assault rifle. Like you just kept on getting ammo. Yeah, you still have to reload. Yeah, yeah, you still have to reload. The reload. yeah. reloading part is awesome. I and know, still, but, it's not realistic. I mean, you don't just your ammo doesn't yeah. just pop up on your belt. <laughs> you actually have yeah. to pick it up. No, but like, yeah, I got into details to where um, I don't. I really don't want to spoil this, but uh, no, I won't. No, but don't, don't, don't spoil it. Don't spoil I won't spoil it. it, but. On a technical level, I've always wanted a game where your armor kind of does you know, back you up. Like, uh, there are rumors in Halo 4 where it's like, if you have, like, um, you don't have reach. Some armors have, like, the little uh, the pouches, you know, that let you carry more things, you know? Yeah. It's for aesthetics. They have no functionality. But there was a rumor for reach. I said Halo 4. I apologize. But uh, in reach, people were like, oh, but if your armor were actually interacted with the environment, you know, what if a more beefier armor gave you... Gave you more beefier health or maybe if you had more patch more uh, pouches you actually get to carry more ammo and i was like you know I, i'm a fan of that i really like that i mean come on what's not what's not so far, there's kind of love rumors about that lying to us like the halo 4 lowering your weapons online thing some of them were like community was... made, like fan-made rumors so you can't you can't blame them all about it like well those I, were I know the lowercase rumors the yeah. only real big rumors was the freak out about it being exactly like call of duty yeah, was, that was uh, you know the whole well, uh, exactly right. like it's it it kind of exaggerating there, like but... not in the way everyone thought though yeah because when everybody heard oh the ordinance drops it's like no they were wrong they were panicking the matchmaking was fine the yeah, problem was the game as a still, whole the yeah. path they're taking is the call of duty path as people they, like to they say did, and it's, no it's, it's the wrong call of duty path it's because yeah, yeah, it the it's... only thing call of duty has is what's what what it is known for matchmaking it's you're playing player versus player Nothing else. I mean, there's uh, Black Ops and World at War with their zombies, and that's that's a, a sidebar to that that they're also known for. But uh, you know, Halo has been going down. You know, Reach it was kind of like a little setback for the multiplayer world. Uh, Halo Three was okay, but Halo Two was where it's at. And then uh, Three for Three was like, you know, we need to bring back Halo as you know a multiplayer thing, and they did that. But only ironically that they had to stop doing like uh, community events like MOG because. I don't know the whole story, but it MLG stopped died. being. Thank God. Yeah, MOG died because uh, it. I don't know some contract. Something three four three. In my did. opinion, they should have done better. They did everything wrong. Yeah. They didn't listen to anybody, and they just did their own little thing. And look what it got. Yeah. Online uh, population. Every time I, like every time I research uh into three four three's history and how they started to emerge from uh Halo Waypoint, I just think. 343 is the cancer that has affect Halo and it's the worst thing that's ever happened. I don't know. Like everything that's, they influence, it downgrades and just pushed Bungie away you know, where, I think to I the point I think where I Bungie's doing happier. something else. I think knowing this, obviously, if I didn't know, I'd been more, you know, upset, but uh-huh. if I'd known this was going to happen, I think I'd have been happier if Bungie just stopped Halo and didn't give it to anybody. 
Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because they kind like, of. I would have rather they not for, made for one Halo thing. 4. This is a small thing, but in the campaign for Halo Four, Master Chief talked way too much. It just talked. He just went. It gave him. He like, 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 way too much. A little bit too no much. one in the no one in the campaign except Cortana. I guess that was like. I think no. Oh, it was awful how they did. Like, the idea they were going to do is they're going to add a lot more emotion to it. Because, like, after a while, you have to do a little bit of uh, character development and backstory. That is the nature of it. But, like, what they attempted to do, the way they did it was just absolutely awful. Because, you know, Isaiah, like, just like all of us, you know, we like Cortana. She was really cool and hot or whatever. And Master Chief's really yeah, badass. Playing bad. Halo 4, he hates Cortana now. It's ruined Cortana for him. And, yeah, like, even that, that last scene just, in Halo 4, where he was like, okay, maybe Cortana's not too awful, he's scarred for life that Cortana sucks now because of how horrible they did like, Halo 4 story. Let me story. get into this. Yeah. As, because you're, okay, you're a new studio, you're making a new game, you know, it's your first output. I don't think it's meant to be taken seriously. The way, if we would upload our very first machinima, we don't want that to be taken too seriously, you know? It's not... You know what Lord Scott says. It's no you know, excuse the best to that we're capable of. Franchise. They, took, they like took too. They didn't destroy like, the franchise. I don't believe they did. I think well, they, they took, they the took wrong it first step. I'll put it that way. Yeah. No, they took it to to a new direction. It's just something that yeah, is, the wrong a lot new of direction is the wrong direction. I go. I no. It's because there's not change. Just that. Everybody hates change. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's not, not that. It's like, not that everyone hates change. No, Halo no, we love change. We just love it when it's good. Halo changed a lot, and we learned to love it. And then there's Halo 4 that changed. I yeah, haven't learned to love it. I've learned... Right. I've, I tried to love it. And I no, no one loves Halo 4. The fact that they Halo took 4. away a Falcon... Look, look, this will tell you everything you need to know. The fact that they went in... They made a whole new game called Halo 4. And they went in and they did not give you a UNSC flying vehicle. They could have just reused the Falcon. But they decided to just take it out. For whatever reason oh, that it was. Weird. They... They could have yeah. at least explained like the technicalities behind it that we don't know in programming or whatever, but I'm pretty sure that they could have easily done that in whatever well, time yeah. instead Excellent of worrying guys. about well, switching what happened? over Firefight to Spartan Ops, which no one likes better. Yeah. Well, I, I know why they did that. Basically, what goes on with the whole game is similar to Reach, although not as bad as Reach, is you notice in Reach they took out weapons in there and just replaced a few things, right? And to a certain episode. extent, we were fine with a lot of that because it was a prequel, right? Like, like there's no uh, Forerunner weapons in Reach. Well, yeah, that makes you didn't sense. See That's the ring just yet. little things. Right. That, that was, and, that like, was, uh, and they were able to do cool tweaks to stuff like uh, the Hornets turning them into Falcons or whatever. So we were yeah. fine with it. It wasn't like it wasn't uh, as good as it should have been, but it was fine. We were all okay with it. Yeah, yeah. Halo they 4 let us is a all step. The seats, but they didn't. But, yeah. you know, we got over that. That's, and, they've always but the that reason way. they did that is because of space. Because uh, you can't just add more guns, because it'll just add more space that you got to have uh not just to have the data of the actual weapons themselves but how they work different to everything yeah else i could and see those that. technicalities getting in the way because like they increase the graphics in reach and every time you increase the data of it if you're not improving the efficiency of it you're taking up more space and yeah. uh, taxing the power of the 360 and reach was okay uh you know they managed to do that okay but uh halo 4 their whole focus was on the graphics and visuals, which took up most yeah, of Halo the space. Yeah, Halo 4 is a beautiful game, but the compensation is ridiculously Yeah, unbalanced. like, they yeah. took out they took out entire sections of uh, gameplay. Like, they halved what physics we had left uh, from Reach, the stupidest which thing was to already half. You again. could take away a Falcon and have give the UNSC no flying vehicle, but you still give the Covenant a Banshee. That's that's really that's just that's just kind of weird. Been there well, all, they just should at least place. take away both. If you're gonna take well, away some for multiplayer purposes. Well, basically, <laughs> what they did is they replaced uh, the Hornet or Falcon with uh, the Mantis. That's basically what happened. Is they replaced the vehicle. So they replaced a fast flying transport vehicle with. Uh, oh my gosh, the Mantis is cool and, and all, but they tank. their focus is to. Their focus is in the wrong place. Like, okay, we need to come up with cool, unique, oh, new stuff. On, but first, they need to get their yeah, basics yeah. right. They need to get their facts straight before they start adding on. It's like it's like we're trying to add cool new stuff to our machinima before we know how to cut clips properly. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about bad uh, oh, matches. I bad just remembered. so epic, though. Come on. You can't it is lie. cool. I, yeah, I agree. It is cool. But like I said, their priorities are I wish. Up. I wish they did like a Lost Planet thing where... Um, you can like get in like a passenger or just have like people from the sides and you know be like 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah like the, no, like, I think that would be too OP. That would OP. That would be too OP. <laughs> no, well, for custom game purposes, obviously, yeah. wouldn't have to happen in nice. matchmaking. No, okay. Right, no, so there's too much work. You can't do I'm stuff surprised special no one for custom this. games. The emblems. Oh my god. How hard is it to put an image up on everyone's armor or just like up to like be seen? Because, Hunter, I'm not sure if you remember this, but in the Halo beta 3, of Halo Reach, they, did it. they had, you know, the Cobra emblem, right? And that's something yeah. that they had since Halo 2. It's on the Halo 1 flag, for goodness sake. You know, they go to. It, yeah, why did they Halo take 1, that out in Halo Reach three. for some reason? It's that in the Reach sense. beta. Right, it's in a reach beta, but when you play the game, oh, yeah. it's not there anymore. Yeah, it's what gone. happened? We got our hopes up, and it was in. Well, for those of people right. who don't know, the Cobra emblem is our clan emblem. Yeah, it's the. They uh, found uh, out about us. They know. wanted to eliminate our clan before we came to do much of a threat. That brings up They're another scared. point, though. They're afraid. Uh, of the what annoys me? Two thing, two more things that I've randomly thought of that annoys the crap out of me in Halo Four. Number one, the kill streaks, and yes, I'm gonna say kill streaks, like triple kill and stuff. You can die and respawn, get one, and somehow that could be like if you killed three people within that time and you died in the middle. Um, you get, you can still get a triple kill. I again. think if you die, it kind of cancels out that you got a triple kill. I know you can respawn really fast and everything, but that if you die, there's no way that should count. There's oh no, you way. you would have never. Oh, like, you got, okay. Oh, double kill. I died. Oh, 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 kill tacular. Well, yeah. The oh, oh, kill tacular with the yeah. with the freaking wait, di- the, like okay, ten so deaths. Yeah. Wait, you mean like my, if you get a? It means nothing now. They mean nothing. Now. Wait, so if you get a double kill and then you die and you get another kill, then it gets you a triple kill. If yeah, it's it within if the you time die really limit, fast. I didn't well, know that. Which the time <laughs> limit was also increased, so that makes it even easier. They mean nothing to me now. Triple kills, nah. Halo 3 triple kills, I felt amazing. Halo 4 triple kills, feels like a single kill to me. Nothing. That's well, true. the main problem isn't so much that the mechanics of just the triple kill system itself. It's, in the earlier Halos, that oh, never became kills. an issue because you never were able to face an enemy quick enough after you died. Because the maps were decently big enough and you weren't in two-inch spaces. That's because it wasn't Call of Duty, Halo. but it Bungie was didn't allow for it, even even if there was. I don't think that's true. Yeah, yeah, like that that is true too. You know, they it, actually... it has nothing to do with the maps. Is that well now Sprint is default, so you have players. Well, that's that's a good that's a good change. That was a good thing too. I agree. I liked that change so, in there. No, I okay. I was looking at some Halo Four, you know, soundtracks and stuff, and I got to a trailer. Really good music. I look at the comments. You know, and for Reach, there's not, and I hate it for, I apologize. For Reach. Oh, well, I like their You know jewels. armor abilities. You know how we all hated armor lock, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I look at the comments, they're talking about armor lock. Everybody is hating on Sprint. I'm like, why are you hating on <laughs> why? Sprint? Sprint's like the, like <laughs> the pro thing to do. Why are you hating on Sprint? People's like, oh man, it just ruins, man. It's like I got a Sprint, and, like yeah, you can I just get that. anywhere. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Okay, if you oh, shoot someone sprinting, they stop it's stupid, immediately. It doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. When you're, when you're when you're getting shot at in Halo Four, it slows you down. You can't run at all. Yeah, I can't really. Yeah, run. for those people who are saying armor lock, why would you put that in the game? That's terrible. The way oh, Bungie God. probably tested it, they probably used it properly. There is a right way to use armor lock. Obviously, no. they missed. There is obviously, no completely right missed the. Way. No, there is. No, there is. No, if you, a couple if you of think about it, if you think about and it, armor you... lock can be used as an offensive ability. People think no, it's no. all defensive, but it's, it's an use. offensive ability. That's the thing. If you it's run up to people like... and you can go to armor lock, come back out, shotgun because okay. it brings their shields down. I've done that all the time. It's that's how you're supposed <laughs> to use armor lock. Okay, I'm gonna bring up no, this topic. You're not supposed to just sit there, you know, go to an armor lock and then get shot okay. by a rocket and just sit there the whole time. That's not how you're supposed to do it. That's, it's not a defensive ability. Because <laughs> you just sit there, yeah, you, they yeah, just yeah, wait for you to come point. back out. It's not defensive. Okay, I'm gonna uh, bring up. Okay. A new, I'm gonna bring up this topic. So, okay, multiplayer. So you know how there's these. Uh, it's basically the same topic. Uh, new bitch op. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the same topic. I, I know that, but uh, just bear with me. So. <laughs> You can use there's these noobish items, you know, people call new weapons, new abilities, all this stuff. Call of Duty 4, you know, you had the grenade launcher, they called it the noob tube, right? Would you consider yeah. armor lock to be one of them, to be something that, you know, it's it's a very cheap maneuver, you know, you only have to press one button and it helps you out significantly and it can be abused. Yeah, I don't right? even I don't like armor lock. I was just saying I there think is the right way to use it. As a uh, as a game developer, you want something that when new people play, when they play your game, if they're you're gonna have higher level people, and especially for a game like yeah, Call of Duty, where it's like to. you have level experience and you're constantly like upgrading your guy, 
you're you're thrown to the world you have nothing you know you just have like the basic weapons there needs to be something at least something to give you like to give the new players a chance at least that, that's how i see well it. that's that has to do with balancing and also the audience you're going for because battlefield doesn't do that at first no, when you get a weapon do you don't get no attachments for it but it's fine because of the way the guns are balanced uh, just because you don't have attachments or a really good gun, it's not impossible for you to get a kill. You, you don't, well, but in Call of Duty, you, right. they help you a ton, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, way too much, but they profit by <laughs> it because of the audience they're going for is casual gamers and very young gamers. I'm not such saying, as why the typical 12 year olds. It's not audience young gamers. Thing. They probably don't. They because they make tons of money from they it. You're they make about tons of money. Right they're doing something, right? Battlefield's more like, it's always been this. It's been a more mature audience. I don't know what you're talking about, Will. Like, are you, you're talking about Call of Duty, right? Call of Duty, yeah, I'm talking okay, about Call Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, I can see why it appeals to the younger audience, because, um... No, here's... Uh, Call of Duty is one of those games, it's fast-paced, it's something where you can just pick up the controller, and it's, it's like, you know, you can play a quick is. match for ten minutes if you have to go somewhere it, For casual gamers, it's good. For, for hardcore gamers, you know, gamers, and you I mean, think... Why would they, like, no, no. You think it'd be for the more mature audience, which they don't have that much time to play a game, where it's like, you know, I gotta play this game really quick. Whereas to other games, to where Battlefield, you know, you need to dedicate at least like 15 minutes into the match, and it lasts up to like maybe half an hour, right? But it's more mature audience who, you know, don't have that much time that mostly play these games, and I'm just sitting here like, what's with that, you know? Maybe... Is there a correlation They were trying between... to attract a certain audience, but epically failed and accidentally attracted a different audience. Is what you're trying to say? Yeah. Because it's just, for some reason, why does it have to be a target audience? You know, if you're making a game, make a game that you just would want to play. make a good game, and there you go. That, that's that's, yeah, that's totally Bungie's agree. motto. It, you know, we make games that we want to play. That's their uh, exactly. slogan yeah, there you go. right there. And, you yeah. Know, I, Destiny! I like that, you know? And why do you think You're they're such a me. successful company? And Timefall. There you go. It's, exactly. It's a game, Titanfall entertainment. Game. No, no, but, I mean, uh, I, I mean, games we're excited for that's done by different yeah, Titan, uh, Titan, Oh, yeah, Timefall and Destiny, I've, Time those Fall. are my two most, number, right. the number one. Oh, my God. Back in, before we talk about uh, 2014 yeah, games that we buy. I am going to buy the Collector's Edition for Dark Souls, the Collector's Edition for Titanfall, if they ever come out with a collector edition for Destiny, I'm gonna get that too. Oh, you mean Dark Souls 2? Yeah, oh Dark my god, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get that. Dude, have you seen the gameplay footage of Dark Souls 2? Yeah, I don't know. I, like, oh I, my I god. I don't know anything about when, when, there's a, when, there's a, when there's a collector edition with soundtrack in it, I get it any, anyway. Like for, um. Soundtrack. Oh my god. The footage of him walking through the tunnel with a lantern? Those dynamic shadows, man. And the clothing. Oh. Every piece of fabric has physics. Oh my god! <laughs> I know them physics, man. No, every time he like, talks about. Uh, wait, what? Go wait, on. What? No, no, go no, on. I'm no, 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 no. I was gonna say because every time Will talks about a game with like very good graphics. Oh my it's god! It's like no. when you first when you first got on the Xbox One and got on Battlefield Four. All I heard what people what Lotus got on IBM told me from you was, "Oh my god, the bat pack it has physics." The, the, the little pouches on the tank have physics. This thing moves up and down, and I just imagine you sitting there and you're like standing there in the middle of the battlefield. There's like gunshots happening everywhere. There's a guy yelling at you. He's like, "Give me ammo!" And you're just sitting there like, "Oh my god, I can throw a grenade and rolls down the hill and everything." Look like, at this like, physics, you just man. See, you just see Will in Xbox One version. That's what it happened in, because I didn't. I don't have the 360 yeah, version. Like, it was the oh, Xbox God, One version. But it was so this beautiful. It's beautiful. He's walking <laughs> did, did the battle. You see my ragdoll. It was amazing. Yeah, because I don't have a, a very expensive PC, so I haven't done PC gaming. So I haven't seen in person some of this next gen stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, do, I have a question for you guys. Uh, it's all a little off subject here, but I have a question. Uh, right. what, uh, what, what machine, do, or what machine do we decide we're gonna do next? Episode 2 of the experiment? Might as well. Uh, yeah. Might as well. No! no that oh, or, I, that I, no yeah, I called, I called the payday. I called the payday I, crossover. I feel like, our, I feel like we haven't completed idea. our, okay, it's I feel I like we haven't idea. finished our get, duty I, with the experiment yet. We just remade the first episode so we could make a ne another one to continue yeah, that, it. Yeah, yeah one pretty really much. Count episode, just count as that just a remake to start it, it off. It's kind of like a remake. Just, just to get the two. Whatever you want to yeah. call it. I feel like we didn't finish our job. We still got to. We, 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 we got to write the real episode. 
We got it. Yeah, we, we got to ride it, and that is going to take some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah it takes time. We're not we even. Got, we'll introduce we it. We got to ride it in for consistency. Like uh, we were no, talking that, about, that like we're not actually. Lord, I was going to talk to you about that, but like I don't think it's talking in the podcast because yeah, don't talk about it in the podcast. Remind me later. But we we said we were going to plan. We were going to script write like two or three episodes ahead of episode two. So that way we have a clear, ah, that's you know, we, we're good. So that, it is a lot of writing. So I was going to get to is I think Echo's right. We should probably do other machinima while we're writing because we're yeah, just not ready uh, for episode two yet. Because like what well, we have already written. Well, I wouldn't say written, but at least voice is. Um, oh, we have well. payday voice. That's like ready up and go. That's what we did with Metal Gear Solid. Was I? Yeah, did we're ready voices. for payday. We're ready. Yeah, for we're payday. ready, and we just pull it up. You know. It's, we're ready for we can just yeah you know, and, get and, that and, and stuff like that stuff. improv machinimas like Metal Gear Solid's improv machinima we got Halo Fun Situations improv machinima we've got oh, and now we're I gonna do Payday oh shoot sure. I love improv machinimas they're so fun to do because yeah. they're so flexible I, but and they don't have the to thing is, is that Payday and Metal Gear Solid they're more uh, uh, they're I gotta go eat dinner all right all right well when I say when I say improv it's you know semi script but there's no actual script you just kind of. It's a fixed improv. Uh, like my recording Staged mic, improv, but I'm going to yeah, keep my right. headset normal and I'll be back. Yeah. Uh, okay, well. Like, even if it is staged improv, it's like, uh, it's because it's stuff improv that we improv. think on, we think on stuff on the spot, you know, like a funny joke and stuff like that. That's why we can't do less plays. That's the because... best stuff, though. That, that is the best stuff. Improv, we come up with the best stuff in improv. That's yeah, why that's some machinimas, the way I like to write them is I like, well, what we did for the, uh, for the Christmas special, we improved it. Okay. We went in and we messed around. I gave a scenario, oh we went God, in, we I... did that, and we said it, we planned it out, and then right. we just reenacted it. I hear myself it talk in that freaking machinima, like how I stutter so much. I just hate it so much. <laughs> it's hilarious, though. It's funny. <laughs> like that, that one like, branch of wood. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> that one, and, and, and like I did a long pause, yeah, firewood. It's like better. That, that, all right, I'm right. the firewood. <laughs> for uh, where did you get? Me. Where did you get fire log from? That's fire, what I yeah, wanted. That was so that was that? random. Like I we went up it. for the presents. We literally improved every single present. Just pull it out of our butthole, and then Ivan comes up with fire log. <laughs> what know. the heck? Hey, it's, it's, not that's the most, it's the most. I mean, if you got a fire log for Kristen, you'd be pissed too, wouldn't you? Yeah, hey, but, I mean, it's mine, not as bad mine, as a woman's At least y'all's presents were, you know, unique. I, I just went over Same. there and picked up the active camo like a like a tool. Echo, um, where did you get a one piece? Uh, is there even a such thing as a little one piece thong? I don't know <laughs> if that makes I any was, sense either. I was just gonna say thong, <laughs> but I was like, it's funnier if I like. If I say it, like, if I drag it out, if I add something to it, you know, add some adverages. It, it was either a one-piece one thong? Adverage. What? Adverage. Was your bad or I, or, I can't or, say it. What the heck? I, I just, like, made Adver- up the first thing that came Adver- to my head, Adver- and I saw that fireplace next to the president, and I said, you know what? I'm going to say fire log. <laughs> yeah, Echo, I was going to say, well, if that's a one-piece thong, what's a two-piece thong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a regular thong. I don't even know. Like, because I was playing uh, Dead Rising with uh, Tiffany. I mean, Itchy. And that's the thing. Because, oh what? my gosh, she puts, on, she puts on these weird costumes. Like, the one Chuck has, that yellow uh, banana, banana suit. Is that what they call oh, it? I don't Rising. know. You mean Dead Rising, right? Dead Rising, Dead Rising. What is it? Yeah, I don't, know. I don't, I don't even know what he said. I think it's a leopard. I don't, I don't, all right, continue, continue. Anyways, yeah, and Dead Rising, it's like that suit. And that's that was what's in my mind. Because I was like, who makes this stuff, you know? I was just thinking it'd be funny if like the elves just make this and be like, you know what? I just make this instead of some dude. I don't care. But anyway, a right, random Jap- random Japanese thing that came to my head. I was watching. I was like watching this gameplay video of a Japanese game, and it was like it was dubbed or Japanese language anyway. And yeah. I said pervert, oh. and then when we said pervert, it said hentai. And I said, I guess I know what hentai means now. What? Um, I, uh, per- Echo, like hentai you should uh, you should explain to the audience what uh. What's it called? Uh, what do y'all call it? Like when y'all sing the songs together, whatever it's oh, a few machinimas now. We we dubbed oh. over the song of um, Snake Eater for the Metal Gear. Um, I don't know. It was like just karaoke. I don't, I don't and, know what you call and it. Got, and, and guys, uh, when we were singing that song, uh, one, will I think we got we just recorded off of Will's first recording. Yeah, we recorded off of Will. I did it yeah, off of Will, and, like, and then I sent it yeah. to IBN, and he recorded yeah, but it off like, both of ours. Will and oh, I, sorry. like, I couldn't, like, we said it so low because, like, our first recording was Will, and he just said it so low. 
But yeah, he, he said he could have done better and done a lot like how the other, the original one would sound, except not a female. Yeah. Hey, we have Blue Yetis. Yeah, Blue Yetis. Yeah, we have better Ooh. voices. Voice yeah. Voice. My sister broke my first one. I paid for another one, but yeah. Hey, yeah, I mean, you waste a lot of money. $400 in total. I you mean, waste so much you, money, Abby. Okay, you waste so you're, much. I don't I have, you're, I don't you're waste it. Money. Yeah, you well, you, you spend it. I'll give you, you spent that. You spent $200. I spend it, yes, and now I'm broke. I spend my stuff you on more. You spent $200 like, spend... on this. Hey, hey. I'll, and actually, I'll, I'm not going to say that because that's personal. You know, you know, you want to know what? I spend my, I spend, I've been spending my money wisely now. Since I'm going broke now, I'm, I've been, I bought books. I don't buy games. Okay. I buy books. Okay, I need you for the audience. Tell the story about how you spent $200 on this one girl. Oh my, no, no. You did bring it. that up, you dick. <laughs> you dick. Tell it. Tell it, because fine, literally fine, 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 fine. Tell it, fine. tell it, because I'm not gonna do it. Right. I'm gonna let you do it. All right, so okay, so I went to, like, I went to, uh, I think Kalahari, uh, wherever the the Atlantis place is, wherever wherever Atlantis is, and then uh, yeah, so it was the like my last day there, and oh, I liked this that during this time I had a crush on this girl, and how old was I? Was I yeah, I was like thirteen or twelve. That's kind of stupid. Thirteen and how, I, I, yeah, and had all this extra money yeah. to, to waste, you know, because I waste money like I'm a super child like that. And I went to the jewelry store, and I thought it'd be nice. I buy this girl a necklace, and after I bought it, I kind of regretted it. About like two hours having actually buying it, I returned it. It got my refund. I didn't tell you that, Echo. Just saying. <laughs> no, you told me that. You told me you got the refund. No, I, it's I, just told, that I you told you. I told it. you. I told you. I brought it back home with me and sold it to some random guy for twice the amount. No, is that, Which, that was a lie. Yeah, yeah, you did tell me that. That was a lie. Twice the amount. Yeah, I just. I just got my refund, refund back. <laughs> oh my god! It's like, like at my current situation, I could buy immediately right now the Xbox One, but I'm just saving it up. Like I have a. That's what you do. You save up, and you never touch that money that you're saving up for. Right now, I'm just paying like out of pocket, my I'm out, out of my wallet, saving up for the uh, Xbox One specifically now. But uh, I'm not just gonna Dude, go I buy could, I could right barely away. Afford a freaking wait. salad today. Exactly. What? <laughs> well, I hey, you even... know, you you know, McDouble's are like one dollar. Oh, you can no, go ahead and, and like in, America. In plus, in plus. The, the, only, the only time I'm actually saving money is coins. I keep it in a giant, like four, four yeah. foot, a four. Dude, I'm like, trying four. to. I'm, 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 I'm hoping that I'll have enough money by the time Titanfall and all the new games come out because it's gonna hit me pretty hard. Yeah. I don't have any money right now. I hope I get it by then. All right, all right. Oh, Destiny, all right. Can, like, uh, wait, well, you said Destiny, right? All right, 2014 I games well, that you I guys want to buy. Others. So Destiny. Oh wait, I, I had a story I wanted to tell you guys. I forgot what it was. Uh, no. bro, okay, let me try to think of it. You know, just keep talking, and I'll just think about it again. All right. Well, here's well, the thing. I want to get the crew. You guys seen that? Yeah. Oh yeah, you, the crew. You know, I forgot about that. That game about looks awesome, and I, I really. I, I want to get the crew more the only than game Titanfall. I'll ever get. Wait, yeah, what I want to get the division. What about the division? The division. Oh, I, I'll look into it. I'll look into yeah, it. Yeah. It's an MMO. I don't know. It's an MMO. Okay. Now, so, I really, I really, really want Destiny though, but that's that can go without right. saying. <laughs> yeah. On your top five of games that you would get, like I'll start us out. In the top five, I'd probably get uh, Destiny first, The uh -huh. Crew. Uh huh. The next three, I'm not. I don't really care what order I get them. Uh, Titanfall, <laughs> uh, The Division, and what's the other game. You do realize Titanfall and, uh, comes out like first, like like, and, uh, like first oh, before oh. Destiny. I let me rephrase. Maybe we make my list. Destiny. <laughs> oh my God! It's so close. It's tied for second. Yeah, I have my list either, ready. I mean, let me just either I mean, the crew or Ready Gear Solid hold, 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 Five hold, 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 because uh, I got my list right here. Hold up. Hold. There you go. You got it on paper. <laughs> yeah, I got it on paper. All right, all right. We didn't even. Heard wrestling. Yeah, I got <laughs> Titanfall. Uh, Titan Titanfall like Princess Dark Souls goes. You know. I don't think because they come out at the same time. In parentheses, and, uh, what does that mean? Uh, it, it's a maybe because they come out nearly the same day. Anyway, and I got oh, yeah, yeah, do. Titanfall. I got Destiny. I got rah, 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 rah. uh, those more games. Oh yeah, the Division. And man, man, I cannot read my handwriting. 
Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Such terrible handwriting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you write this down on paper in really bad handwriting and not like remember you just it? Went to a restaurant and got a napkin and just went like, man. Hey, can I borrow that? I mean, I know I write down st- a lot of freaking stuff to clear my thoughts, but it's not yeah, it's not on paper with handwriting. I hate my handwriting. Yeah. Hi, right, what do you basically chicken scratch? Uh, my my number one is obviously Destiny because I'm a Bungie fanboy. And number two, I would have to say is Titanfall, and this isn't counting the games that are already out, obviously. Yeah. So I, or else I would put some of some of those next, but because of Titanfall, and then the crew, and then I don't know about the division. I don't really know what other games are coming right, out. Yeah. I really like the Project Spark. I think <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that Project, Project Spark. Spark. That was pretty that cool. cool. I think I would. You I think I would look into that. Whoa, before is that the I would. one? You turn a rock into a, a crap, mech. You, know? you turn a rock into a mech. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I know. People give it a lot of crap, but I think it's cool. That's crazy. It's really that's cool. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, number one. It's very neat game. Okay. I, I think that's going to be the new. All right, all right, go. All right, so Titanfall, Destiny, Dying Light, uh, Thief, maybe, Dang. and Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground. Metal Gear Solid 5. Okay, yeah, that's continuing right. from what you left off, right? Yeah. No. I'm going to no, rephrase that's, mine. That's your whole list? Yeah. I thought you said Titanfall. I did. I don't know. My, my oh, list you did is. Say Titanfall. Uh, yeah, I'll just rephrase mine. It's Destiny, Destiny, Metagross Solid 5, The Crew, the next two, I just don't even care about. I, I mean, whatever. Guys, whatever guys, get. you want to know? You, oh, you Metagross know, 4, you... obviously. For Xbox oh, One. Well, it, it's already out. That doesn't really count on your list. Ah, I'm still going to get it. Well, I've got all the other ones anyway that are already Actually, out. yeah, that doesn't really count. Oh, and, uh, well, I think that's it. Because any other game is just like, I want to wait for more reviews. Actually, Project Spark is you probably one of them. You still need to get I the think... Xbox One. Echo, oh, the and... Only one, the rest of them have one. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, put the Xbox One on number one. Yeah, I should... Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, oh, I was going to bring up this subject. Um, So, Cobra Theater. Uh, I know we've only done one successful, good performance. Uh, But I'm ready to get this started, and I want to upload it to LVP's channel. You know, it's, it's the yeah, cover's plan. I, mean, like, but... you, I like right to record it. No, oh. no, one, no oh. one probably knows what you're talking about because, you know. Okay, you, for the audience, well, there's one I completely performance on my channel. It's in that quality, for... but it's there. Uh, it, yeah. In case you haven't been hearing Will talk, it's because he left for uh, dinner and he will be gone the rest of the time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 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 he's not catch up. He's, he's yeah. AFK. Anyways, continue on. Oh, to the cover theater. Me and Will work really hard on it. We're like the top two guys in cover theater. But. Uh, Cobra Theater, for those of you who don't know, uh, it's it's a it's a literally it's a live performance as any theater would be on stage, but it takes place in Halo Reach, and there's an auditorium map for it and everything, and we actually do like literal theater stuff. It's to the best of our ability, obviously, working with the game, and we're actually working on writing a uh, a whole act. It'll it'll be a three three different type deal act. Thing, but the but they're all completely different, unrelated to each other. <laughs> and the middle act that we do will be uh, the first act of an entire series that we will continue in other theater performances. But uh, <clears throat> but yeah. uh, we and Will talked about this yesterday, and uh, I think we've got it all figured out. We're gonna work a lot harder and be much more professional with cover theater, and we're gonna start taking it seriously, and we're gonna have. You know, multi multiple performances of the same acts, for the fact that we don't get many, we don't get much of an audience, and hopefully uploading to YouTube will yeah, help with that as well, so we don't feel like we're not actually yeah. giving an audience. We got to make sure maybe. that the audience doesn't mute their mic, hey, so we can hear their laughter, because that's, uh, that's, that's what happened in the first one. Because no, no, because what? No, 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 I don't give a crap it's about that. Nah, it's not I, like, worth my, it. It's I'm renting it, it, so I'm playing it constantly. Well, no, so you can't, you can't. This, this is what happens. The ending. Nah, this is what happens. No, 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 I'm gonna do it. No, no, no. We we won't spoil no, it. No, don't spoil it. No, no, no. We can't spoil it. No, we can't because it's a Look, no. We can't I, spoil it. If I say this, a whole bunch of people will agree with me. No, 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 no. We're not spoiling it. We're not spoiling it. Just, right. just, uh, I gotta just let okay, this okay. It's his call. You're gonna right, be hearing right, this right, anyway right. when you're, we're editing I'll put my headset cares. out. I, I need you to, okay. Just do I don't want, that echo. I don't want to hear Call this. Call Duty Ghost sucks oh, anyway. that's right. I gotta edit this crap thing. Okay. <laughs> Fine. 
fine. You're okay. not. Why are you thinking? Why did you? It's probably not anything to spoil. <laughs> Cause it's like it's still a game. It's already like, soiled th- there's, itself. There's an appreciation as a writer for other writers' work. You know, you want to like appreciate their I didn't content. The story and, and the story to telling you. Yeah, no matter whether um, you hate it. Yeah, that or sounds not. great and all, but I completely do not include. Any type of Call Look, of Duty. That's what happens. Okay, this is what happens. It's unreal. It's, it, it's <sighs> just unreal. Still, and though. It's so predictable. It, they just made it so predictable now. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay. Yeah, we are. Yeah, spo- audience. Spoiler this alert! Spoiler alert! Right, spoiler alert! Kind of for Call of Duty I'll put some kind of warning right, when it's so over. So, what happens was. Alright, you gotta you, make this quick. You're on we're this about giant rail, all right, the rail train, and you go find the main antagonist. You find him. And you and your brother, you got, yeah, you have a brother in that game. Uh, you get held ca- hostage because they, they just get you in the corner. Then you blow up the rail car with some space gun. And what happened was you are in the water, and basically he is drowning. He got he got shot one time. He got shot in the water. He was left there for a long time. He had to swim out, and you barely survive. And then out of nowhere, he just like you you out of nowhere, just like you're only resting on a rock. And he just comes up to you out of nowhere and just kicks you in the face and then like drags you away and then that's it. And it just Yeah, man. It just it, 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 it just uh, says Ghost it 2. It just says Call of Duty <laughs> Ghost 2. <laughs> it's so predictable. It's so oh, predictable. Like, making a like, sequel. It drags you it drags you away and it's like you just Oh my god, god. that's terrible. All right. Well, okay. to get to, to get to get away from this subject and end on a good note, um, actually, I've decided uh, that uh, I've decided that doing this podcast and actually getting prepared for this first podcast, I decided that I am yeah. I'm a control freak mm-hmm. when it comes down to it. No, you are, and you I think are. you guys could easily agree with that. Could you not? No, no, uh, no, no. I think the real control freak. I think I'm more of a control freak than you. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, we can't but talk Berserker's, about it. Berserker's, Berserker's more of the audience. <laughs> He's wiped away from his Berserk is more of his dick tanger. Every time, every <laughs> time you say his name, I'm just going to put give a more, censor. Like, I'm just going to make like a power in the clan. He became a dictator. Okay. A, uh, well, I'm, I, I, was, I was actually getting to a point here. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm a control freak. So when me and Echo, when me and Echo are kind of, you know, he's co-directing or co-editing and, you know, co-whatever he co's, but whatever he does. I co um, a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, you co a lot of things. I co uh, my that's why we don't get along, but it's a good thing that we don't get along because he's not afraid to voice his own opinion because of yeah, his, you know, his a control freak, and it makes it makes us that much better. When you as, have two as, control freaks, as far as LVP like goes. Fight or... No, um, it's funny because uh, I was talking to Lotsko last night when we were uh, discussing about how we're going to make the podcast today, and um, see, what happened is that uh, earlier when I first, you know, met you guys, like, I don't know well, how many years it was, like, maybe four by now? Like, four years by now? But, uh, it's just, like, I would go up to you and be like, oh, yeah, totally. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, totally. Let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. just like, yeah. what are you doing? No, we can't have this here. That's, That's so stupid. stupid. You say that oh, all the time. <laughs> what is wrong with you? And I'm just like, oh, God. Yeah, and then oh, we got. I gotta tell the story about uh, yesterday when I sent you these text mess or these uh, Xbox Live messages. Um, When I sent out that, uh, like, uh, okay, well, yesterday I sent out a a very, very long message to all my friends, and it took me like all day to send it out because, for obvious reasons of restrictions for messages. But I sent it to all my friends, and I sent one separate message in the middle of all of them because I was because I ran out of. uh, I could only send so many to all my friends on the Xbox, and I wasn't at home, or Xbox.com, and I wasn't at home to finish it, and so I was like, okay, well, I'll just write down what I was going to put in those other messages and do it when I get home, but then I was like, okay, well, I need to send Echo this, Echo and IBM this message, you know, talking about, oh, talking yeah, about the podcast, and this idea for the podcast yeah, that we're not doing, by the way, but... Uh, I sent it out, and I was like, yeah, we're going to do this for the podcast, or what if we did this for the podcast, it was kind of cool, and then Echo texts me, he's like, dude, you're so stupid, what, that has nothing to, why would you say that, what, you just said it without, like, even can, talking to, confronting anybody about it, yeah, Echo, he you was just did a- something without asking us about it, that's stupid, because- why would you do that, I was like, dude, what are you talking about, you're like, you know, the I- podcast thing, I was like, 
Yeah, I just I said that's you and you and Abian. What are you talking about? <laughs> because he didn't finish the message, and I thought that was it, and I thought it was part of the message. I'm like, man, you should have read, you should have thought before you submitted these. And I went off yeah. him, like texting. And I, I was, was like texting, stressing out. I was like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. What did and I then do? you're like, oh, I just sent it to you and IBN. The other two, the other two messages, they're for everyone else. And I'm like, oh, um, yeah, yeah. So, that was probably my fault coffee. for doing that, but it was still funny. The big long message was basically, you know, a little, okay. a little, uh, you know, closing up of how LBP is going okay. and a little praising right, so for our actors. Our only... and oh, yeah. oh, you just came All in right, time. We're just about to wrap up. Uh, Will, you're still recording, are you? Yeah, we're still going to. Yeah, end. Will, are you still recording? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're here to end. Yeah, I'm still recording. Okay, although I muted so... it when I left, so it's recording. Right, right. uh, Before we end it, I was going to ask this very early on, but I get a chance to. I Favorite do, uh, moments from uh, the experiment. Yeah, okay, yeah. You, Go. You, all right, Lord's Gold made it. All right. It's my destiny. Uh, I, I love that one. Like, I don't know why I love that one. Not the moment, but the camera angle was when, I think you, Lord's Gold, when he said like he wants to come with me with a mission. And that camera angle where it showed everyone, and it was like, oh, come on, pick me, pick me, and all that. Yeah, that camera angle was real cool, though. It's real epic. Yeah. Really? Oh, I forgot about the end. Uh, this was unplanned. It was accidental. I was going to take it out, but I just left it in because it was perfect. Uh, the captain was like, all right, guys, I, go I got to go. Don't blow anything up. And then <laughs> and then he's like, and Dax don't ever drive the tank. And he's like, oh, and William you try. He starts to walk off. And as he's walking up the bridge, you that hear a grenade twice. explode in the that background. Oh, yes. like they've already blown something up. Where did a grenade? <laughs> that was so I funny. I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. I just started busting <clears throat> out laughing. Someone in the background had thrown a grenade. I think, the, it, I think was, it was uh, Trey because he was in the he was the Falcon driver or something. He no, no, no. It was uh, who who was playing the Spartan? Not the voice actor, but the body actor for the Spartan. I forget. It was uh, no, no, no. It was uh, it was Trey because oh, no, he no, brought he the Falcon went, down to the landing pad for us. It was Trey for, you know, the first time. Cido? It was Delta oh, yeah, Force, but Trey was, was the one like, who brought oh, it down. Yeah. He was like yeah. he sounded like the most BA character in the whole thing. Cido voice actor, like such a. He said it's so epic. Yeah, he did yeah. really good with them. Really, really good. No, it was almost was too good for yeah. the experiment, if you ask me. Yeah. I told Echo, he, I was like, yeah, his lines are almost too good. Like, I think like, I was like, like I, I'll tell him, I'm going to tell him I can't accept comedic. these. They're too good like, for the experiment. Thing? I can't do it. Yeah. Like, Saito was so too serious. It was, like, so epic, though. He sounds serious. Well, I told him to do that. I was like, you got to be perfect. Like, You're a Spartan. Well, you got to do this, this, this. And he did exactly what I said. So he didn't need to do that. Well, I guess you're all depressed now, so it won't even matter. I'm just like, oh my god. But anyways, um, Will, Will, what's your favorite moments from the experiments? I, my favorite moment is in the original, when Trey said, "Let's prepare for battle." Oh yeah. Yeah, but that wouldn't have made sense with the plot. I had to take that out. Yeah, we're not doing that fighting scene. Oh yeah, that's right. You took out uh, the whole thing with the uh, uh, elite showing up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, that was gonna be original right. idea. So I heard. Yeah, guess... I talked to Will about it, but not many other people. What was your favorite part, Echo? All right. Oh yeah. Um, I guess mine is uh, I have two, but the main one that I just kept on like replaying and replaying and replaying was when um we went up, we went up to Rex, and you know we started you know, having a conversation. Oh, yeah. and Will shows up. I, and I then like the it's like the blues, and then you're like, I'm a classical kind of guy, and I'm like, I like. Oh. Classical. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I put that in the wow. script, and you I must have liked it, so you added on to it. Yeah, the I, I didn't see what Echo said. I like the webs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that wasn't in the script. He just put it in his voice, and I was like, yeah, I improv, I'm gonna I use that. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know. You could actually. And the cool thing is, the body acting actually fit that. Like, it, the, I'm just a classical kind of guy. Would have fit awkwardly because there'd been so much pause space. But yeah. with that in, it actually fit perfectly. So it actually worked out rather yeah, well. Yeah, I was like, my like, luck. And then when, uh, and there was like, I had uh, an epiphany that Will has a uh, has a Yeti mic and is able to use you know high quality mics. When he walks up to them. He's like, oh, did you tell him? Because I didn't. Like, he, he said that very crisp and very clear. I was like, oh my god, hmm. that's right. He He's one of us now. He has a good quality. <laughs> he has a blue yeti. He's one of you rich like, kids, yes. I can't wait oh to start god. the next god. episode. And it, that's his voice. It's, oh. Oh. Wait, wait, anyways, so let's uh, get this out of the way. Let's get, let's yeah, get well, anyways. This could be our only podcast. Anyways, um, that just about wraps up. 
Who cares what people no, we're gonna, uh, like? I'm guessing wink, this goes wink. well. I mean, it no, seems we'll, to be going well I, so far. I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about like, <laughs> who watches it. I'm just no, talking no, no, about no, no. like if this Wait, goes well. It's, uh, I like it because we're just, you know, we're conversating and we have it stored somewhere. We can refer back because I have a feeling that it's going to be that one moment and we're going to be lucky to capture it when we, you know, talk. Yeah, we're going to go back and watch it and we're going to be like, I remember these days. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's that's how we're starting out. 2014, Um, you know, next week we should just talk, I mean, not next week, but the next time we do the podcast, we should just do some, like, I don't know, New Year's resolution. Here's a spoiler, I didn't have a New Year's resolution yet, I was things about up the next week. Something like that. We'll talk about yeah. anything in our podcast, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. We'll, we'll, hey, talk, yeah, we'll talk about yeah. anything in our podcast. It's All right, it, you know what we should do? Lately, we should make. But, you know. uh, they did this. I just listened to their <clears throat> podcast on Rooster Teeth because oh man, we we rip so much stuff out of those guys. I feel sorry if they're listening. <laughs> I, I doubt it, but if they ever find our stuff, our content, they'd be like, "These guys." They might like it. They stuff. might like the little. They might like it. They might be yeah, like, "Hey, look, but someone tried go, to make our machine." One of three ways. You're gonna say, "Everyone, everyone, let's just have a moment of silence." Okay. Now, every everyone, I don't care. everyone, I would like everyone to have some silence. We have, need to have a moments of silence for Brewster Teeth, of how their material has been copied, and it is a very traumatic experience we that we must yeah. acknowledge. And remember. <laughs> all right, all right. So here's what we should do. Uh, next time we do a Topic podcast, ideas. just write a list. Not not a list, but uh. One resolution you guys want to do for this year, whatever it is. Not, not I already not got mine, but just one resolution and then just talk about it next time. And let's make it let's make it interesting. And one in uh, one resolution for each person. Like I have a resolution for myself, and I'll have three more. One for Will, so one for Abby, and one for I can do that. We should, we should oh, do gosh. that. Like something. Right, yeah, their flaws and be like, you should do more of this, you know, kind of thing. We'll do that, you know, next time we do the podcast. All right, well, that sums up our first ever podcast. Uh, again, this Echo is Echo 419. Lord Scott 70, IBN 428, and Will, a.k.a. Batman, will be back next time on our next podcast. We hope to see you soon. And we hope to... See that you enjoyed it in the comments. Please like it, subscribe, and see you next time. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. You have been listening to the LVP First Ever Podcast, recorded on January 22nd, 2014, with Echo 419th, IBN 428. Lord's Goss 70 and Will aka Batman.